Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Chairman, Secretary General, and distinguished guests, on behalf of my government, please accept a warm greetings from Somalia, a country that many might not rapidly associate with ICT, but I have some surprise for you. But first, from the outset, I want to thank the UAE for the invitation and hosting this event here in this beautiful city of Dubai. After two decades and a half of few challenges, Somalia is back. And the ICT sector is one of the success stories from Somalia. The telecom sector provides advanced solution to our people, including accessing the, the web via mobile phone and mobile money lending that made Somalia become cashless society. Statistics show Somali language-based website in the thousand and increasing by the day. Soon we want to introduce IDN or the use of Arabic script on the .so CCTD to enable the many Somalis who speak and write in Arabic to develop content and share their ideas with others who speak and write Arabic. We believe ICT will help us fast track the rebuilding of our country. Our focus is on infrastructure, connectivity, content. Fiber optics, fiber optics has landed. 3G and access to the internet is showing a steep upward trend and online content has increased many folds since we last met in Hyderabad four years ago. Our policy is to encourage the education sector to increase their contribution towards the ICT area our government has offered all universities in Somalia to get .edu.so based domains and Google apps emails for all Somali students. It's our ministry's policy. I would like to clarify that. I'm not the minister, by the way, and the minister had an emergency, um, and I'm giving this on behalf of it. Um, our ministry policy is to enable all Somali students to have access to the internet and provide them with .edu.so based emails. We have a vision that soon all Somalis will have access to the internet. And those who already have access will get more online resources, e-government initiatives, and online education, just to name a couple, just to name a couple of projects that we are shifting a lot of resources into. We're encouraging our universities to provide the necessary educational foundation to our students to leapfrog into the use of new developments in, this, in the ICT sector, big data, 3D printing, and cloud computing. We want to do this because we believe access to information and knowledge will help us gain the capacity to develop our economy secure our environment and enable our people to become productive society. We also have ambitious projects like using ID cards, particularly utilizing IPv6 numbers, anticipating that one day all Somalis will have access to the internet and these ID cards might become handy. Not to mention using these ID cards for security purpose in a country where security challenges impact econom economy, the economy impact economic development. We're working on projects to link the one million Somalis who live abroad with their families and friends back home. GPS-based mail delivery in a country where street numbers do not exist gives you a taste of our dreams. Creativity and believe in ICT innovations. Let me discuss just to give an example, SMS from Mogadishu with URL link, etc., etc. Allow me to take advantage of this opportunity to thank the ITU and the UAE TRA for their support over the years when we needed help in managing our spectrum, harmonizing frequencies with our neighbors and in many other projects that helped us manage our telecommunication sector. Before I conclude, I would like to join my brother, the Minister of Papua New Guinea, just before me, on standing by our Malaysian um, brothers who are challenged by the MH370. And we hope that technology catches up with some of what we learned from there. I thank you all.
Thank you.